Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing well and hello if you are new. Thank you for clicking on this video. I really do hope that you stick around and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Today I am here to film for you my, what is all this hand action? Um, but today I am here to film for you an updated everyday makeup routine. A lot of techniques have changed and there are a few products that have been added into my routine which are from the drugstore. So whilst I was getting ready this morning I thought that I might as well film it for you and put it here on YouTube. Showing you all my new process and what is new in my routine at the moment. With this routine if I'm not talking it can take me around 20 to 30 minutes at the most normally if I am getting ready for work this does only take me 20 minutes I am super speedy and because I do do this routine every day it is fairly easy because of this I will be doing this video in a voiceover so the rest of these clips which you will see I will be talking over whilst doing my makeup I do find voiceovers quite relaxing and quite calming and especially with what's going on at the moment it might be some relaxation for you just to sit down and be able to watch this video and feel zen so without further ado let's get straight into this video boo did i scare any of you i am now barefaced enjoying my cup of tea and looking at my nails for whatever reason The first product that I'm going to go in with is the MUA Face Oil with Gold Flakes. This does such an amazing job at making your makeup super dewy and I just love the all round feeling of this on the skin. It does make your face feel so smooth and super hydrated. going to apply some lip balm because my lips feel super dry at the moment you can use any lip balm it doesn't really matter I do have another one to try but I am trying to use this one up so this is the one that I'm using at the moment it's one from Mario Badescu I am secondly going to go in with the elf poreless primer I also love this for blowing out any of my imperfections and smoothing out the skin. This does such an amazing job. I do just apply this round the sides of my nose and under my cheeks because this is where I feel I do have the most texture on my face. For foundation, I doubt it will come to any surprise that I am still using the Ordinary Foundation. This has been my holy grail for some time. I just love how lightweight this is, yet still so full coverage. I am using my Beauty Blender to apply this. Don't worry about the scary orange colour. I have just freshly fag tanned, however I don't fag tan my face. So it does look a little bit odd at first, but it will all blend as one, I promise. I do also blend the foundation down my neck. I would hate to have a foundation line. That is my biggest pet peeve and I just hate, hate, hate the thought of having a foundation line. I am then going to move on to eyebrows. I will be using the e.l.f. Brow Pomade in shade Espresso with an angled brush. I like to start by carving out the edges of my eyebrows to create a canvas. I normally do the bottom first and then move on to the top half. Mm -hmm. 
When the outline of my eyebrow is done, I will then proceed to fill the rest of my eyebrow. Using whatever is left on the brush, I like to fade out the front of my eyebrow to create an ombre effect, as you can see. I just find that by doing this, it creates a more natural eyebrow, even though this eyebrow is no way natural, but you sort of get where I'm going with this. I then like to take a small amount of pomade on my brush and create hair-like strokes, as you can see. I will then, of course, repeat this exact same step on the other eyebrow, making sure that I do get them as symmetrical as possible. We all know that eyebrows are sisters and not twins, but I do like to try and make them match as best as I can. To carve out and define my eyebrows further, I will be going in with the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in shade C6 and a flat top small concealer brush to do so. For this step, I outline the bottom of the eyebrow and the top of the eyebrow, as I said, just to add some definition. If I do not do this step, I always hate how my makeup turns out, so this is essential for me. Some people do call this a halo eyebrow because it does add some brightness under the eyebrow and it can add some brightness over the top as well but I personally do love this step. If you are recreating this makeup then you can miss this step out if you would not like to conceal your eyebrows. I do sometimes make my eyebrows too long, so if that is the case then as you can see I do just like to conceal the front part of them just to get them to a normal shape. I don't like them too elongated. I will then leave the concealer above the eyebrows and I will then go in with the same concealer that we used just under the eyes. As you can see I do like to apply quite a lot. I do like a really bright under eye, each to their own. I know this isn't for everybody but again I do love to do this step. And to me the more concealer the better. I absolutely love a flawless base so I do like to whack on the concealer. I also find that if I leave the concealer for around two to three minutes, I did say five but it all depends, that it does make it last a lot longer and it is a better coverage. Taking this small buffer brush from Zoeva I will then proceed to go around my eyebrows and try and blend in the concealer. I do like to use this brush because it gets really into the eyebrows as you can see it is so precise and I find that this is just the best thing to blend out the concealer around my eyebrows. Just to blend in the concealer further, I will be going in with my Beauty Blender. This does have the foundation on it, so it means that it will blend in the concealer really well. And I will then proceed to blend in the rest of the concealer on my chin and my under eye area. I do take a while to blend because I am a perfectionist, so I will probably speed this bit up just because I think we all get the idea. When the concealer is blended, I will then be going in with cream contour. I love this one from L'Oreal. As you can see, I am running out, so I am having to use this sparingly. This is in the shade 9DW. I put this on my forehead, along the nose and the cheekbones. I 
I then use the other side of my beauty blender just to blend all of the cream contour products in. I love doing this step because I think it does make a difference with regards to a flawless base. And if you do have really dry skin, this is a perfect step to add into your routine just to help with making your skin look a lot more dewy. As you can tell, half of this video is basically me blending out all of my makeup. I will then take the flat side of my beauty blender which I used to blend in the concealer and I would just run this under my cheekbones just to define the cream contour and get rid of anything that may have fallen down. I am then going to start to powder my under eyes. I do normally go between these two, but for today I am going in with the RCMA powder. I do like to blend this in using the reverse side of the beauty blender. I would make sure that your beauty blender is quite damp for this step. It really helps to make the under eye powder brighten and gives a really flawless under eye. I will also do the same to my eyelids. I will blend out all the creases and then go in with some translucent loose powder and make sure that all those creases are blended out. On to one of my favourite steps to get a slimmer looking nose. I am going to run that powder along the sides of my nose as well. I do bake this area so I will let it sit for quite a while whilst I clearly enjoy my cup of tea. Taking the NYX Matte Bronzer and quite a big fluffy brush, I am just then going to set the cream contour in place. So this is going to act as my powder bronzer. I will leave all makeup items linked in the description along with what shades I have used. Going in with more translucent loose setting powder, I am going to run this under the cheekbones and this is an area that I'm also going to bake. Taking the Collection Highlight and Sculpt palette, I will be using the contouring shade in this palette to act as my contour, obviously what a silly thing to say Ellie. On a small tapered brush from Zoeva, I will just be run running this along the cheekbones as you can see. I will then go back in with my big bronzer brush just to blend the contour and the bronzer together. And I will then also go back in with the powder just to go over the bake in case any of it was removed when I did the contouring. I am then just going to contour the temple of my forehead 
as well as my chin just to add some more definition and add a lot more structure to the face. Moving on to a very holy grail step in my makeup routine, you have probably all seen me do this by now, it is something that I do religiously and that is to contour my lips. I am just using the same contouring palette and a Zoeva flat top brush. I love doing this step just to define the lips and as well if you do apply lip products over the top I guarantee you that your lip products will last a lot longer and you will not have to reapply. I am then going to move on to my new step in my everyday makeup routine, taking the EYN Fiery Matte Palette from Beauty Bay. I will then take the third shade in, which is quite a dark brown colour, on a really big fluffy brush and this will go all over the eyelid and into the crease. I really like doing this step because if you have blue eyes like myself, this really does make your eyes pop. Every time I do with this makeup look or if I go into work and I have eyeshadow on or even if I'm taking Instagram photos, you can definitely tell a difference and your eyes really do stand out. I don't know whether you can see the difference on this video at the moment, but I can certainly see that my eyes have just popped. Here my sister also announced that she was pregnant, it's such amazing news and I cannot wait to be an auntie, I am so excited as you can see, but back to the video. I am then going to go in with the second shade in the palette with a more flat fluffier brush and run this over the top and into the crease. This just helps to make everything pull together and look seamless on the eyelid. Taking the NYX Matte Bronzer on a really small tapered brush. This is what I am going to be using under the eye, or the lower lash line should I say. Let's be technical. Going back in with the first eyeshadow brush that I used, I am just going to run this all along the eye as well as under the eye, just to make everything blend together and again look seamless. With this tutorial, I just love making sure that everything is blended. Another new step in my makeup routine is eyeliner, which is something that I never thought I would say. I did also just break my eyeliner by my reaction just now, but we will move on. This is a really precise eyeliner from Ciate. I did get this in this month's glossy box. And ever since I got it, I have been using it. I love creating a really thin line. This just helps to bring the eyeshadow together. It does also define your eye shape really well. And it does, again, just look really good in photos. And I just love doing the eyeliner at the moment. If I don't do this, then I never end up liking my makeup. The next boring step in my routine is mascara. This one is just from Soap and Glory and it's their thick and fast mascara, but you can of course use any mascara that you own.
I then like to run the mascara through my eyebrows to create a really fluffy defined eyebrow. Because my hair is quite dark I find that mascara just works just as well as brow gel if not better. I am honestly so clumsy, I make such a mess and I drop literally everything. But I am going to go in with a very dirty sleek highlighter palette. I did also get this in a glossy box and it has been my new favourite highlighter palette to use. I apply this using a Zoeva fan brush which is also a new thing that I have been doing at the moment. I really do like to go in with this fan brush as I think it just leaves a really nice effect on the face with the highlighter. And as you can see this highlight really does pop. I use the gold one which is the bottom left. I will be applying this on the chin, just above the eyebrows, under the eyebrow bone, is that the right word? I've got no idea. And I will also be putting this on my nose and Cupid's bow as well. I then like to go back in with my bronzer brush and just go over all the places that I've highlighted just to make sure that it's all blended together and it looks seamless as I'm going to say about 50 times during this video if I haven't already. Then I do like to add a second layer of highlighter because we all love a really good blinding highlight. With a massive powder brush from Real Techniques, it is now time to wipe off the bake. This has been sat here for quite a long time and I do normally take it off near the end of my makeup anyway as well. The second to last step in this routine is blusher. So here I'm using the Life's a Peach, Peach, Life's a Peach, should I say, blush from L'Oreal. I absolutely love this blush. It is quite subtle, but it does still look really lovely on the skin. And we are now moving on to the last step, which is lips. Taking the Spice Lip Liner by MAC, I will be running this all over the lips and over the contour which we did earlier on. As I said, the contour does help to make the lip products last all day, so lip liner is still a really good step to do. Some mornings for work, if I really cannot be bothered, then I won't do this step, but nine times out of 10, I do still always use lip liner. The last step is then liquid lipstick. This is one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is a really light colour but I think that it does complement the lip liner really nicely. I do only apply a little thin layer and not even all over the lips and then I do normally take my finger and I will then blend it in with the finger just to make sure that it's all blended. This is quite a light colour so if I do use my finger it does help to blend in with the lip liner. And there you have it everybody, this makeup look is now complete. Ok 
Hi everybody, we are now at the end of the makeup routine and this is the finished look. When I was filming this video it did look quite dark and really structured, which it is, but it definitely does look a lot lighter now that I've put the camera and zoomed it back. Um, so it does look a lot less harsh when the finished product is like so. I really do hope that you have enjoyed this video and seeing what my new and updated everyday makeup routine looks like. Don't get me wrong, a lot of it has stayed the same, but you will have seen that I have done a few new techniques and introduced a free a bleh, bleh, bleh and introduced a few new products to my routine which is exactly why I wanted to film this video and get it out for you. So I really really hope that you have enjoyed this video and again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure that you are subscribed as that would really help my channel. I love you all, I hope you are all staying safe so thank you for watching everybody. Thanks Nan for interrupting my YouTube video and um, so thank you everybody and I hope to see you in my next video. Oh. I forgot to do my normal outro of and thank you for watching everybody and I will see you in my next video.